Welcome back to section 7.1 on linear combinations. In this video we're going to do example 7.1.2 where we are asked to consider the vector w given as 1, 4, 6, minus 4 and each of the two cases below, a on this page and b on the next page, we're asked to determine if w can be expressed as a linear combination of the given vectors or not. So we need to remember that being asked to express a vector as a linear combination is being asked to find constants. So we are being asked, <clears throat> are there constants? Are there values a1, a2, a3 as real numbers such that we can express w as a linear combination as a1 times v1 plus as a2 times v2 plus a3 times v3. This is called a vector equation. And this vector equation has unknowns. Well, we know what the vectors are. The unknowns are the coefficients. The co unknowns are a1, a2, and a3. And if we want to solve this vector equation, well, we can go ahead and write in the components of the vectors that we know. So w1, 4, 6, minus 4 is a1 times v1, which is 2, minus 1, minus 3, 1, plus a2 times 1, minus 2, minus 4, 2, plus a3 times 0, 3, 5, minus 3. Now how do we go about solving this vector equation? Well, we can read across the components. And if I put the unknowns on the left-hand side, I'm getting 2a1 plus a2 plus 0a3 is equal to 1. Second component, minus a1 minus 2a2 plus 3a3 is equal to 4. Third component, minus 3a1 minus 4a2 plus 5 a3 is equal to 6, and lastly, a1 plus 2a2 minus 3a3 is equal to minus 4. So this, quite obviously, is now a linear system, and a linear system we are experts at now after our chapter on solving linear systems. So to do that, we know that we can use an augmented matrix and row operations. We can reduce the matrix to yield the solution or to determine if there's no solution. So let's go ahead and set up our augmented matrix. Notice that the columns of the augmented matrix just so happen to match the vectors in the problem that we're given. So we want to reduce this and that is something that you know how to do so I won't do it here for you but I will just tell you that after many steps you will come down to a reduction that looks like this that I've prepared for us. And we can see right away that our system is consistent. That means there is a solution. And so I can actually answer my question, yes. W may be expressed as a linear combination. There is a solution to this equation. There are constants v1 oops nope those are my vectors a1 a2 and a3 so as a linear combination and it's, I'm trying to write and uh, tell you something different at the same time as a linear combination of v1 v2 and v3 that means there are constants a1 a2 and a3 that will make this equation right, which is consistent to this or equivalent to this linear system that will make that consistent now, if we wanted to go further, if we wanted to actually write one down, well, then we'd write the system to our linear system. And we would see, well, not only is it consistent, but we have the rank of our matrix. The rank of our matrix is 2, which is less than 3, which is the number of variables, which means that we have infinitely many solutions. Another way of seeing this, of course, is we could see that this variable a3 is free. 
And if a3 is free, we can say, well, let's let a3 be equal to t for some t in r. And we can express the other variables in terms of this, the other variables which are the coefficients. So if we start in order, a1 is going to be 2 minus t. a2 is minus 3 plus 2t. And a3, well, a3 we've said is t. And so we can then say for any t, we can write w as a1 v1, so 2 minus t times v1, plus a2 v2, so minus 3 plus 2t times v2, plus t times v3. So there's infinitely many ways that we can express w as a linear combination of these three vectors. And in particular, if we wanted to give one, we could just choose a value for t. So why not let's let t be anything we choose. So why not 1? And then we will see that w is equal to 2 minus 1, so 1 v1, minus 3 plus 2, so minus v2 plus v3. There is a uh, instance, there is an example of a linear combination, but the answer to the question we were asked, may w be expressed as a linear combination of these vectors? And the answer here is yes. Yes, it can. W can be expressed as a linear combination of these three vectors. So let's go ahead and look at part B, which is asking us the same question, but giving us a different set of vectors. So if we scroll to part B, I've recopied W here so that we have <clears throat> our vector on this page. And we're being asked, is W a linear combination? So are there constants? Now let's remind ourselves, a linear combination is normally right, constant times vector plus constant times vector plus all the way up to as many vectors as you have. But what happens if there's only one vector? What is a linear combination of a single vector? Well, if we take this and get rid of everything out here, a linear combination of a single vector is a scalar multiple. So that's something that's important to realize. A linear combination of a single vector amounts to being a scalar multiple. So I'm being asked, is w a scalar multiple of v1? Well, you can probably see right away that it's not, but let's set up. Right? We're being asked, is w equal to a times, I will call it a because there's only one of them, a times v1. In exactly the same way that we did in the previous example, I can set up a linear system. This linear system, of course, I don't need a matrix to be able to solve. Is it a times the vector v1, which is 2 minus 1 minus 3, 1, which is, of course, the linear system 2a is equal to 1 minus a is equal to 4 minus 3a is equal to 6 and minus 4a is equal to 1. We can see right away from the first two equations, a is 1 half is the solution to the first, a is minus 4 is the solution to the second. That makes this system inconsistent. And so no, w is not a multiple, therefore w may not be expressed as a linear combination of this vector v1. The next video will just recap what we have seen about the connection of linear combinations to uh, linear systems.